Hi and welcome to Outwell and to our Alamosa 6 from our ARTC collection. So this is a large tunnel design tent that it can sleep up to six people. It has two bedrooms across the back, it has a large sealed living space and this real great extended canopy area at the front, all of which we'll show you uh, in detail shortly. But first of all though, I want to talk you through the features on the outside of the tent and I'll start us off with the fly sheet that we're using on here. So this is our Outex AirTech material. So this is a poly cotton material. Uh, it's 65% cotton and it's 35% polyester. And what that gives you is a material that has quite a number of advantages. So I'll just talk you through them. So for me, the first thing actually about this material is how long lasting it is. Uh, so this type of material with it being a mix of natural material and synthetic uh, will actually last for a really long time. And that's due to the fact that it doesn't degrade particularly quickly under UV degradation, so sunlight. Uh, so it's a really long lasting material. The second uh, highlight on this type of material is how breathable it is. So this is gonna be a great tent for those who perhaps might want to go to warmer climates uh, for camping because you'll actually be kept nice and cool in this tent, as I say, because this material is breathable. Uh, the material does actually react uh, to the environment that it's in though. So if it's a little bit cooler outside, you will find that you'll be kept a little bit warmer because the material will actually change uh, depending on the outside ambient temperature. But it's certainly, key point would be that it's definitely a breathable material. Uh, finally then the uh, material is also naturally waterproof so we do put a coating on here to allow water to sort of bead off uh, if there's light rainfall or drizzle um, but this material will actually seal itself and how it does that is just through a process of the tent getting wet and dry a few times. Once that has happened uh, if the tent has been out in rain or perhaps even if you wet it yourself once you do that a few times um, it will actually seal itself so it's naturally waterproof. So I think the next thing to talk about here is the frame that we use on here and it's actually a bit of a hybrid frame that we have so the back area of the tent from here to the back is actually inflatable as the collection name suggests it is our air tc collection so we have these tubes which run uh, across the tent here uh, which have each got valves which we'll show you in detail shortly so this really simple and easy to inflate back here uh, but then for this large extended canopy area, we have full length steel poles, both of which are color coded. So you know you're getting the right one in the right place. So you can just see that the uh, sleeve on here is color coded as the front one is as well. So with these being steel poles, what that gives you, as I said, there is a huge uh, extended canopy sort of area that's obviously attached to the tent itself, but it gives you a really solid uh, and stable structure as well. We then add to the stability here using our wind stabilizer system. And I'll just show you how that works. So on here, you'll find that you've got these Velcro tabs and it's the same on the uh, front steel pole as well. So when you're setting the tent up, all you have to do is simply wrap these around the poles and fasten into position like so. You then see this is where we have the guy line attached. So when we take this out and peg it into the ground, the fly sheet is pulled against the frame here at the front and that ensures that this is a nice taut piece of material and that of course increases the stability as well. So as I say there, that is also on the front steel pole as well. Uh, obviously we're in our showroom at the moment so it's difficult to show you all the way around the tent but just to assure you that we do have our floating guy lines all the way around this tent that look just like this. So you can see here that we have the luminous guy line towards the bottom here and then the top part of the guy line ties in to some of the colorways of the black here on the tent. So the floating aspect just comes from that luminous part at the bottom, which you can see quite clearly when it's dark. So the inflatable part of the tent, as I say there, the valves are uh, something that we'll show you in detail, but I just want to highlight that we do supply the tent with a double action two-way hand pump, just like this one here. Now the two-way part just means that every time you pull up and push down on the lever, you are inflating these tubes. Uh, the pump also has a pressure gauge just on top here. So you can keep an eye on the pressure when you're inflating the tent and we would recommend inflating this up to 7 psi which represents 0.5 bar so that was just to show you the pump now i'll just show you how the valves work so here you can see our air in and air out valve now there's one of these on each tube that runs across the tent and this is obviously where you can inflate or deflate the tent from so if i just pull this back what you'll see here is that we actually have uh, one single valve but there are two parts to it so to inflate the tent, all we're doing is releasing the cap off of the top of the valve. And this is where you would plug in the pump. And you can obviously see here 
that this is a one-way valve when it's like this, and this uh, obviously doesn't let any air escape. When it comes to deflating the tent, what we can do is unscrew the whole valve. So just behind this one here, you'll see there is the, uh, the grip here to be able to unscrew that valve. And what that will do is, of course, let the air out of the beam. You can see this in detail with our pitching videos, which are also on our Outwell YouTube channel. So some other features on the outside of the tent then, we have our ventilation panels on the side here. Now there are some across the other side uh, of the tent and at the back as well. And just in underneath here, there is a mesh strip. So even though this material is breathable, we still have our ventilation panels here just to allow cool fresh air into the tent to keep you nice and comfortable. Uh, you can get rid of this quite easily just by removing the Velcro tab and then pushing down like so. And obviously you can do that all the way around. I'll just leave this open for the moment. So next, you can see here that we've got some good sized windows, again, all around the tent uh, on this side and across the other side and at the front, which you'll see when we get around there. These windows are tinted, so they serve two key functions, one of which is to reduce the amount of glare from the sun inside the tent. And the second is, of course, to give you much better privacy uh, from within the tent as well. Uh, the front canopy area here on the outside has got mud valances down the side, so that will just encourage rainwater to run down and away from the inside. So what I want to do is just highlight this space at the front of the tent here, because for me this is one of the standout features on the Alamosa 6, where you have this huge extended canopy on the front here. So this is going to be a fantastic area. If you're lucky enough for it to be a nice hot sunny day and you need a bit of shade, then of course this is going to be able to uh, provide you with that. But likewise, if it's a little bit wet and drizzly outside, you'll still be able to get the sort of outside feeling even though you're inside here because uh, again this will give you good protection as well certainly plenty big enough I mean we've got one of our biggest chairs in the range uh, in here at the moment you can see chairs tables um, perhaps even cooking tables or things like that it's a really good usable space out in this area so another great advantage of having a large front canopy like this is that we can give you a vertical wall at the front of the tent here because you've got great coverage uh, at the front so what the vertical wall allows for is full uh, usable space as soon as you step inside the tent. So there's no sloping door on here. So straight away, you've actually got a lot of extra space right at the front here. So other things just to highlight on this wall then, we have the large tinted windows, which I mentioned before on either side here. Uh, we have the full door here, which is rolled away at the moment. And again, you can see that we have another large tinted window on here. So even when the door is closed, you'll still get great views from within the tent. Uh, something else I want to highlight here is that we have full mesh doors as well. So we can leave this outer door rolled back like this and have our mesh panels zipped over completely. So that will seal this front door but still allow for great ventilation as well. Uh, also worth pointing out that it's a D-door style. So this actually you can see zips open to the side uh, which makes it a lot easier to access when it's over to the side like this. So the next point I think should come across uh, pretty obviously and that's just how much space this tent gives you. Uh, it's certainly a really large living space, coupled with that outside space as well. Uh, there's a lot of usable space here. Great head height within the tent as well. I'm quite tall, about 1 meter 95, and you can see there's plenty of height above me. We have quite a lot going on in the tent at the moment. A large table, a chair, some storage furniture in here, and there is still plenty of space around us here. So next, I'll highlight to you that the tent from that vertical wall that I mentioned to the back and side to side is fully sealed in this area. So we have a fully sealed ground sheet, which is bathtub in style. And what that means is it's coming up around the edges. Uh, so that's going to stop any drafts from coming into this area. It will keep out things like dirt, dust and sand on your ground sheet. And more importantly, it will hopefully keep out those unwanted creepy crawlies as well. Of course, it is completely waterproof with a hydrostatic head of uh, 10,000 millimetres and it's a good quality, durable, double coated polyethylene material as well. It does have quite a nice feature at the front door just down here though. Uh, so I'll highlight to you that the ground sheet is flat across the front here, um, which allows, of course, easy access into the tent. Perhaps if you have young kids, you've got buggies and things like that, or even if you've got a trolley for all your gear, then it's easy to get in and out. Uh, you can fold this up, uh, we have pegging points at the moment which keeps it flat, but you can fold this front ground sheet up and zip that onto the door uh, just to allow for sort of a full sealed front entrance on here. Uh, there is a zip that runs along the front of the ground sheet which just attaches onto the door. So uh, next I will highlight to you that we have a lantern hanging point in a good central location within the tent, so if you want a lantern to hang here then that is what this is for. Running away from that on both sides, we then have cable tidies, which you can see we're using at the moment. 
which then run down to where we have a cable entry point. So I'll just show you here what this allows you to do is just run cables or power into the tent without actually having to have this side door zipped open. And as I said there, there is one of these on either side of the tent. So in terms of entrances, you've already seen the front entrance here, but just to highlight again that we actually have two side entrances on here as well, each of which have got the full poly cotton door on the outside, but we also then have a full zippable mesh door on here as well. As you can see at the moment, we have it rolled away just to let a little bit of light into the tent, but um, you can zip this down fully closed to allow for great through ventilation. So I mentioned earlier on that the tent has large tinted windows all the way around, uh, but if you do want a little bit more privacy, you will find that each window has its own curtain, which we just have uh, zipped away and toggled at the bottom here at the moment. But these are zippable curtains, so you can actually bring these up to whichever level suits you, depending on how much light you want in the tent, or of course how much privacy, but these can be fully closed. Then just across the top here, just to highlight the strip of uh, mesh that we talked about from the outside, which corresponds to that ventilation panel there. So uh, at the back of the tent is where the bedrooms are located. And as I said before, this tent can sleep up to six people across two bedrooms. The way that we hang the bedroom in is using our wave shaped hanging point system. So this is where we have this shaped mesh around the top here. So of course, yes, it gives it a very nice sort of stylistic look, but it does have a good function as well of taking any of the stress point off of that top seam of the bedroom. You can also see that we've added in the stripes onto the bedrooms just to give that home away from home feel. Uh, we then have some handy storage pockets on the outside as well, so great for smaller personal possessions. Uh, next, you can see that the bedroom doors have these uh, mesh ventilation panels on here as well. Um, so these actually have curtains on them. So if you do want uh, a bit of ventilation, then you can open up that curtain and uh, you can have that. Or if you need the privacy, then yep, you've got that curtain there as well. So inside the bedrooms, there are plenty more features to highlight. Uh, along the sides of both of these bedrooms, you can see we have more handy storage pockets. So that's going to be good for phones and chargers and books and magazines, things like this. Across the back, we have another large mesh ventilation panel, which corresponds to outside ventilation on the fly sheet. You can see here that we're separating the bedroom using a full zipped piece of material. Uh, of course, that can be zipped open if you want to create one large bedroom across the back, or you can have it as we have here. We also then have the zip, which runs down the center of the bedrooms here, which is part of our universal inner system. And we'll now just show you how that works. So we have a few optional extras available for this tent that would be the fleece carpet for this living area here just to give you a little bit more comfort underfoot. We also have a footprint available to go underneath the ground sheet here just to keep it clean and dry on those wet and muddy days. And for those who want to enclose this front area, we actually have an awning available which we just clip on here and come down to give you even more space within this area. So there you have it then, that's all the features of the fantastic Alamosa 6 from our Air TC collection. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, this tent can be inflated using our Typhoon 12 volt compressor pump.